Hey, First Bella Vista friends and family. Um, Reverend Jean here again from my bedroom because um, I had this grand plan to be outside in the beautiful sunshine at sunset. And uh, then we had a hailstorm. And it is still thundering. And, you know, when there's thunder, there is lightning. So, um, very, very frightening. Um, sorry, I couldn't help it. Uh, so, here we are. And I realize I'm getting a kind of interesting shadow, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so we have a few announcements and invitations for you. Um, before you get excited, it has nothing to do with when we might be able to reopen. Um, we have not received any word from the conference office or the bishop or the DS or any guidelines. So um, I don't want to get your hopes up and have you like eagerly watching and anticipating that. Um, no, what my announcement is concerning mainly is our new worship series. It's called um, Heart Matters or Matters of the Heart. Um, I haven't decided which one yet, but um, it is an Easter season series and it was created specifically for this time that we are under um, pretty much lockdown and in quarantine and all that sort of thing. And so um, it was created by Marsha McPhee and Worship Design Studio. And so we, will, we are going to be using parts of it, some of it. We're not going to be using all of it. But what's really, really awesome about this series is that there is an at-home guide that we can send to um, our friends that uh, can't join us online in online worship every Sunday. And so um, I, that's what I was loving about it is that they can, you know, hear and do the same things that we are doing. Um, so Easter is the season. Um, I don't know if you realize that, but it is actually the eight Sundays that last from Easter Sunday to Pentecost Sunday. And it is the time when we celebrate the spirit of Christ in the church as the presence of Jesus's work ongoing in the world. So during the Easter season, we will continue to hear more about Jesus's message of what is truly the heart of the matter in our lives. We are going to incorporate all ages into the service, so be sure your children and youth are with you in worship on Sunday mornings at 9.30, um, either on Facebook or the website. I apologize, I'm a little shaky tonight. Um, it's been a, been, a few, been a few minutes here. <laughs> um, but anyway, so be sure to join us on Sunday morning at 9.30. I have um, another invitation for you in this. Um, in the account of the resurrection in the Gospel of Matthew, after the stone is rolled away from the tomb, the angel sits on the throne and sits on the stone rather and gives the women this message. Don't be afraid. So throughout the season of Easter, we want to invite you to use a worry stone. Um, and it's a stone you can carry with you to rub when you are feeling anxious or worried. Um, I don't have mine with me right here right now. It usually stays right on my nightstand. Um, but I want you to go out this week, maybe when those days are nice, uh, nicer this week, and find just a stone that um, kind of fits in the palm of your hand and you can hold it. There's a little bit of weight to it. Um, but I want you to do something else with it too. I want you um, to find that stone and then paint or draw a heart on it. Uh, it will remind you of this angel's message, which Jesus then repeats, do not be afraid. Um, if you want to look up that scripture, it's Matthew 28, 1 through 10. So in addition to finding a stone uh, out and about this week, or you may, um, I know Bella Vista, some people have like rock yards. Uh, so some of you may be like real easy for you to just go out and grab a stone. Um, for others, you may have to look around a little bit. And um, so that's the first thing. Second thing is well, I invite you to find a candle that you can light every week with us in worship. So there's going to be a moment in worship where we're going to light a candle um, every time we gather. So if you can get those two things ready for worship on Sunday, um, and there will be an email that's going to go out a little bit later this week that also has this information on it. Also, we know that several people um, make use of the upper room devotional. We have these available right now, 
And um, we have come up with, the staff has come up with a safe way to deliver these to your home if you wish to have one delivered. And all you need to do is call or email the office or one of the staff members and we will get you your upper room. Um, we have we figured out this great method, so it will be completely safe. Um, you won't have to put it in quarantine for two weeks. Um, it's already been in quarantine at the office for two weeks, so um, it is safe, and it, they will be able to. Um, you can you can have them delivered to your home. Also, um, I want to lift up that you can also subscribe to the Upper Room online at upperroom.org. Um, if you have a smartphone, there's actually an app that you can download and you can, um, it, it's delivered to you daily. Um, or you can sign up for the email that is delivered to you daily. So all of that, um, those are my announcements and my invitations. And um, I want to just also um, say a quick prayer. I know that Tuesday is our um, prayer day. And so 1130 tomorrow, join me then for our prayer time. If you have any prayer requests, um, you can message uh, through Facebook or you can message me privately or email the church. Um, you can go to the website. There's the telepastor form on the website and you can um, check it out there as well. So let's uh, join our hearts in prayer. Gracious, loving God, um, we give you thanks for the gift of a thunderstorm happening right now <laughs> um, over me and over uh, our area, and we pray for safety in that storm. God, we also pray um, for all who are in the front lines, um, all of our healthcare workers, our emergency response, essential workers. We are grateful. Um, we ask that you keep them safe and healthy and provide for them. God, we also pray and continue to pray for our church and our community um, help us to continue to connect with one another and the needs within our community as we become aware of them. God, we are grateful for all that you continue to do in our lives. Remind us that we are not alone, that you are with us. Your Holy Spirit is wrapped around each and every single one of your children and keeping us safe and cuddled and warm in your embrace. It is in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen, friends. Have a good night.